I want to welcome you to our devotional time together this morning. We're looking at Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. Let's see what it says. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Believe in the gospel. So, some things going on here we want to think about for a moment here. God sends John. John prepares the way. And, but we come straight away here into the work of Jesus, because that's what Mark wants to do. He wants to get right at that. So notice that when Jesus comes, uh, what is he doing? He's preaching the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom. He wants us to be members of his kingdom. And so we are, in a sense, we're monarchists, because God is, God is our king. Uh, notice here also, when is it that Jesus comes? When the time, says, the time is fulfilled. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom is at hand. So... Unlike a lot of these pagan societies, basically all the pagan societies, where life is kind of cyclical, it just continues on in a relentless cycle, it never stops, it never has a beginning or an end, it's just a cycle that just continues. In the Bible, what we have is that we have a linear plan. There's a beginning, there are things that happen along the way, and then there's a conclusion. And that's the way God does time. So things have a beginning, they have an ending. Not very postmodern. Okay. What was God thinking? He didn't go postmodern on us. So Jesus comes on time. So then we see two things, repent and believe the gospel. There are some funny ideas out there about what repentance is. Biblically, it's very clear. The Hebrew word is teshuva. It means to literally to go in one direction, and then you turn around 180 degrees and go back the other direction. That's, it's a complete turning. And that's what metanoia, the Greek also that we have here, metanoia, it means a complete change of mind. So that's what repentance is. You're going one direction and then you totally, totally turn around and go the opposite direction because we are going in the wrong direction and we need to turn and go in the right direction. And then we have believe in the gospel. Believe in the gospel. There's something particular. There's a whole plan that God has, a plan that heaven has to save you and I. So we want to be part of that plan. God will be with us and if we'll just let him do his work, we should say in us. So God has a beginning and an ending in his plan. He calls on us to repent. And he calls on us to believe. So these are pieces of the real life that we should be living day by day. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, help us today to be repenting. Help us to receive your gift of repentance and your gift of believing. We want to trust in Jesus, and we can do that throughout this day. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we've got a new day in front of us, and what do we want to do? Trust in Jesus. He's coming for the kingdom, and there are beautiful things ahead today. Maybe some challenges, too, but he'll be with us in them. God be with you.